right there, bro. Negativity. We got enough negativity in the world without motherfucking movies, video games, and the motherfuckers that stumping us in the ground as the fucking people. Shit. Some rich sons of bitches that don't want to do no motherfucking work because they know one thing. We got sheeple living here on this planet that we can get to do our work and beat up and kill each other while we sit back and watch that shit just like motherfuckers play video games. It's fucked up, people. But think about it for yourself. We was taught to be stupid fucking people, but we was taught somebody else's history, first of all. And those of you whose history that we was taught, when y'all sit there and think about y'all history, y'all ought to be. I don't even know what to say what y'all ought to be. Because when you sit back and look at history, you look at who has destroyed the Mother Earth. Who has just raped Mother Nature? Who is trying to change the way everything naturally comes into this world? This gay mafia's movement. All the while it was sugarcoated with this racist white supremacist movement when it all was undercut as the gay's agenda movement being the Shriners, being the Masons, you praying to the G in the middle of the Mason sign as your guide. I'm just here to tell you the truth so you know the truth for you. Love unconditionally the feeling is the original creator of the man and woman who created all the different gods and religions. We was taught bullshit. If you sit there and you think about why it's not your born day and it's your birthday, you got to think, why is that? You got to start putting whys out there to get a question to because if you don't know why, nine times out of ten you're believing in some bullshit and you're stupid. Because why is simple. And when I say why is simple, why is simple because inside of you, reciprocity and empathy is the wisdom in you. All you have to do is tap into the divine creator which is in you as you. Meaning, the creativity in you is the creator of you. That lightning strike of lights before there's smoke or fire. That unconditional feeling of love that you just can't explain. But you have five senses to know that you are alive. Reciprocity and empathy is embedded into your hearts. The four pillars of life so you don't have to be stupid. You can be smart. And don't have to pray to nothing outside you. Because your heart do not work by a remote control from something outside you. All that is in control is inside of you. To feel, to know the truth is in you to come out. Love is eternal life when knowing who the love in you is from. The divine creator of all life. Do you know how long it took for the creator to create you as the perfect species to be in you see I said species because that's that word that you use but the perfect human being here we don't need nobody to tell us that we are human beings you already know the separation of you and the other species because you are a human being here not a human being because that's a whole nother definition of that word but being here meaning me is just M upside down W meaning we. Me is me and you as all of you 
conscious. We thinking. We are all as one conscious thinking people with this earth's rotation with our heartbeats in it. It is what it is. It ain't about no winning because it's all about us together. Winning is the separation of when you racing to do anything. The separation is going to be that someone has to win. If you were to think to live from your heart, which is your start, you will know that the creator of your heart is number one, leave the creator in that place. And then you'll be second, third, or the rest of the numbers that way. And then you're really showing love. Because I love you more than you love you because I know the truth and you don't. But I'm here to tell you the truth so you know the truth for yourself. Some will, some won't. Because I'm going to say it because the truth is just the truth. Period. Fuck all the bullshit. Some of y'all stuck on stupid don't want to be straight because straight going to show y'all been stupid for a long fucking time. And a lot of y'all just don't want to see yourself in the mirror like that. But let me tell you something that's coming from the divine. So you can have something to think about in this shit. In life, the truth is just that. Sometimes, the truth hurts. And the truth is, no pain, no gain. You got to let the lies go. Once you realize to know that they're lies. Because when I go back to your born day, which really, they say it is your birthday, which really... Two things happen on that day. Your mama birthed you for you to be born into this world because you started breathing on your own and your heart beating started beating on its own, but you was never alone because the creator was in you as you was being filled with all that you need. Meaning, you was here your first day lied to when you was born here, an empty glass waiting for some truth but your first day here you was given your mama's birthday as a cancellation prize to you why because when you when you was born you wasn't born to you you was born as product to the united states of america's corporation and your mama was given the birth certificate and the social security card to you the truth is the truth it hurts but it's the truth your mama gave you her birthday as a consolation prize because you was born here and it was her birthday. So someone's supposed to be saying, happy born day to you. You're supposed to be saying happy birthday to your mama. It is what it is. Two things happen, but you're getting shortchanged by these people who know the truth. They done destroyed the truth because we're powerful people when we come together to know that we're not sheep. We're powerful people when we realize that the people make the world go wrong. The powerful people, once we realize that the separation is just us being separated from us being the people. And the separation is these people that's trying to change the way that we came into this world, people. And this is a certain amount of rich sons of bitches that's evil. And they're evil because their minds and hearts are twisted. Because a man and a man can never make love. A woman and a woman could never make love because they could never make nothing when they're going together. The same sex does not supposed to attract because they can't come together to make one of each other. It's bullshit, literally shit, when you're going in somebody's shitter. It is what it is you're in the back door. Why are you in the back door instead of going into the front door? You don't want no, nobody to know you're back there. If you thinking that the asshole is the new pussy, you are the asshole that's licking on it. So, shit him out. You need to check it out. It's nasty to be in the back door. Because any way you look at it, it is the exit of everything that comes out of your asshole from what comes in every part of you knowing things or believing things all the filth of what you see here 
feel, touch, and taste is the waste coming out of that poo poo scoop. And if you back there for any reason, if not for putting an enema in there to get some shit out of there, you are the shitty asshole. You are what you eat and what you play with, you piece of shit packing. It is what it is. I ain't got a whole back shit from y'all. I don't shouldn't cold shit simply because of the fact that I love you more than you do. So if this truth hurts so big, the truth is just that the fucking truth. So life is what you make it. The creator is in you to be a creator too. This God and Jesus bullshit was created to fool and make you afraid of some bullshit. Because when you think of the truth being just that, the truth, what the fuck are you afraid of? You came into this world not knowing shit. You better leave this world creating some shit that everybody can use, not worrying about getting shit for it, but knowing that it is the straight and the straight to the right thing to do. And I say the straight to the right thing to do because there's four rights. There's your right hand, there's that's right, there's that's right by law, because man put it in there as it being right by law, but nine times out of ten is wrong, because man is most of the time wrong when it comes down to what man fucking wants. And then it's the greatest, greatest one of all right now. You are breathing right now. Your heart is beating right now. You are able to eat right now. You are not someone in Cambodia or someone somewhere that can't you must get the poison that we get every day. We get poison as food and somebody is dying not able to even get the poison fucked up food that we get that we pay for and our regulators that we paying them to regulate and watch out for bad food, watch out for bad medication, watch out for the people's best interest. They fucking us and we allowing them to fuck us. And that's the truth. We gotta live down and take our life back, people. If we are afraid to die, and these bitches killing us from the sky by polluting our air and our water. What the fuck? Who the fuck are we really? We some bitch ass fucking people. We make the fucking world go round and we allow a certain amount of motherfuckers to put us in the motherfucking ground and then use other motherfucking people in our motherfucking place. Wow. Told you. We was taught to be stupid. Stupid is what stupid does or allow people to do them. They gonna kill me because I never be stupid no more because I am you being stupid, but I'm talking the truth for you to know the truth so you don't be stupid. And it is what it is. I'm still part of you, stupid. So, I can call you stupid because I'm a big eye and you a little eye not knowing what the dot is on top of you. I do. The dot on top of you is really you with your hands in the sky saying, Oh God, oh Jesus, look what the devil is doing. That's fucking bullshit. That's why you the little dot not connected to the eye because you can't see shit. Me being a big eye is really just me being the line which we walk on. You can fall to the right, you can fall to the left, you can even much go backwards, but straight gonna always be one way. The circle of life is the divine that created the whole circle. But then after all that's created, then to be us, we stupid to allow somebody to take our power. Got us thinking about some God or some Jesus in the sky. Thinking about some devil that's doing us some wrong when it's really somebody, some human body. Because I ask you to ask yourself the question. Who is in between you loving you 
when the creator is love unconditional the feeling you put god and jesus there why because you was taught to you was taught to believe in some bullshit because you was never taught that the truth is that you are the divine shit the conscious thinking fucking human Would you, we're going to just bounce off of that there just to go straight to the shit that kills and killing you. And that's the shit that you put into the body that the creator is in with you. Because you're not alone. You're never alone. Spell alone. A-L-O-N-E. If you put a line in between that O and look at that O as the circle of life. You will get the line through the O as another L to go with the L and the A. And you got all the line one. Look at it. I painted a picture for all your literary people to get exactly what I'm saying with the picture so you can see it. Alone. A-L-O-N-E. Cut that circle down the middle for that one because people lie, numbers don't. Zero, one, the circle of life in the line which we walk on. As I said before, you can fall to the left, you can fall to the right, and you can even go backwards. But straight, it's going to always be one way. And that's the truth with this one. Love, unconditional feeling is the feeling that's supposed to be shared between two people because when two people come together literally come together in the creator's original name love knowing that they took the time to know each other knowing the responsibility of coming together they can create another one or two of each other when they come together in the creator's name love When the creator's name would change from love to God, it was just because you couldn't kill another creation and say the creator's name while doing it. How can I say I love you and kill you at the same time? How confused is the two? Choose one. is love or hate. It ain't no debate. It's on you with having life free will, and choices. The divine is always on your mind. But the divine wouldn't be divine if the divine would control your mind and take away your free will and your choices. That's why you are being judged right now by you being the creator of you in your heart. Heaven is a place that you make for yourself because you came out of heaven to come to this hell. Because wouldn't hell be somewhere where they lie, steal, kill, rape, sodom, oh, it's just too much. Everything else that we was taught to think about what hell is supposed to be is all the bullshit that people put on the TV. The television. Tell lies to your vision. The TV that take you and program you with the program that's on that television set that tell a lie to your vision. So if you're looking at all the tools that tell you the lies that makes you the fool that you are, because the truth is the truth. We was taught to be stupid. And a lot of us is sticking to being stupid, not smart. My material motive is that I do this straight from my heart. Because I don't talk to y'all ass no more because y'all ass is full of shit. And you was taught to be full of shit. I'm sorry we all was. But enough is a fuck enough. Let go of the fucking bullshit and start really living the truth in this shit. And that's not to fear nothing because dying is part of this shit. What are you doing while you're alive? I can give you four periods of your life 
I can give you four words starting with L, ending with E, that sums up your life from beginning to end. And in four stages, I can give you that one word, four letters, that sums it up how we all came here. And it happens to be the Creator's original name before they changed it. But y'all could never say the Creator's original name in vain because you don't know no name because everybody claim and put a title on things. Because the Creator is just this. And I can give you where the Creator comes from because the Creator is giving you this. The Creator was created out of nothing but being alone. So the Creator created all type of things until the Creator us. Until we was created. Everything was out of control. But once we were created to be the conscious thinking humans with hands, look at all our control. We all out of control with Mother Nature, Mother Earth, and the way that everything here on Earth works. With our heart beat, beating with the magnetic rotational pull of this Earth, pulling from today, you going into tomorrow. Some bullshit we living in, people, and we allowing some other people to get all the glory, all the benefit, and reach all the havoc on us, and we work the hardest in this shit. And they sit back and watch people die in the soul. What fucks me up on this game is you see hobo people on this game, you see homeless people on this game, and they're getting paid, but all those people on the streets getting the royalties. No, they're not. They're being perpetrated in the game, and the game is making all the money. This is fucked up. We are some stupid ass motherfucking people. We are. But I still say that I love y'all more than y'all love y'all self because I know truth y'all don't. And when I say that, when you sit there and you say to yourself, ask yourself the question, who is in between you loving you when the Creator is love? No human fucking body. So why are you putting God in Jesus death? Because you was taught to. We was taught to be fucked up and stupid. And we stupid and fucked up as people. And them rich sons of bitches is playing us like the sheep that we are. So when you look at it, some motherfuckers are playing chess and we ain't even playing chess.